thank you for being here. My name is Gustavo, and I'm a member of the membership committee. And as Walter uh, said, it's important to share some topics with the community. And this topic is very important because uh, at this moment, um, this uh, topic, handling the app membership applications with the MCM script, um, it is done uh, only by me uh, inside the membership committee. So uh, my objective with this uh, presentation is share my daily work with the MCM uh, script stuff with you uh, and uh, document the document the the this questions uh, to the community to uh, share uh, my uh, notes and what I'm doing. Um, all right, all right. We have a... Yes, great. Okay. So the MCN script is a tool uh, developed in Bash and for uh, the first uh, membership committee. For a developer in the first membership committee, Norbert Thibault, Thibault, it is Thibault, and updated by many members uh, of the membership committee during uh, the next years. Uh, so, the work with the MCM script starts uh, when we finish a quarter. So to finish a quarter, the member on the team should uh, have a GPG key in the computer and uh, uh, he should sign the database with the date of the last uh, minutes, the last meeting minutes of the membership committee. So after that, uh, we are able to start the work of a quarter. Uh, as Gabriel told, uh, there are two big cases to uh, review the renewals and the new applications. And every application in compliance with the TDF status is sent to Gary for voting. This is an important topic because uh, I will talk about in the end of the presentation uh, the checks I have made in this comment, the notify renew P to check the list of renewals, uh, check the members who uh, should, uh, who will uh, uh, be renewed in this, in, in the, in the, in this quarter. So uh, to send the renewals, the first thing to do is get the, eventually some changes in Garrett, if exists, uh, with the pool and check the list of members uh, with notify renew P. The MC script will show a list of IDs and then names and after send the renewals with notify R and then push the changes. So this command uh, send the email the famous email <laughs> to the members uh, with the main question uh, if the member want to renew or not and the membership committee needs a yes or no uh, as an answer to continue the process. If the member uh, answer and yes, it's easy because it's just uh, 
do a PDW with the ID of the member and after we check with you if you can. Ah, okay, of course. course. No, of course, okay. yes. Uh, the, uh, of course, we, we should check if it's all okay with the contributions, contributions of course. Um, if the member say yes, so the PW with the ID send a message, send a message to a member, and send the renewal to Garrett for voting. What uh, Gabriel told uh, in the last presentation. If the member say no, so uh, the good practice is lapsed the member because uh, after we uh, it's possible uh, uh, get some lists from the membership committee the, mem the, the script the MCM script for the membership committee or for the board or for elections so uh, or even for the reminder message and as you can uh, see, a member who doesn't want to renew, uh, doesn't want to, to get a new message for a reminder, for example. So the good practice is let the member when uh, the member doesn't want to renew. And after this uh, record will be considered uh, after the uh, membership, membership committee meeting. Uh, if a member was lapsed by mistake, we can reactivate uh, the record with the ID. In general, it's useful for the list for elections because uh, we should keep in mind that uh, the elections uh, should be considered the last list of members of last quarter. So uh, we can uh, guarantee the right of the member to vote even if he wants uh, he don't, doesn't want to renew. Uh, this case I will uh, talk after. So, well, uh, if the, the member don't uh, answer our message, our mail, after around uh, 20 days, more or less, we can send a reminder. So the difference in this case is that the reminder is sent one by one. First, we get the list for reminders, a list of members with the ID and the name, and after one by one with remind and the ID. Uh, for a new application, the most important is check if there is or not a record for the candidate to avoid a, a, a case when we uh, can have two records for one person. So the first thing is do a display with the name or a, an ID uh, for the candidate. And if there is no record for the candidate, then a CE with the name and the email of the candidate. So, uh, Gabriele showed us a, a screenshot of Garrett when, where we vote uh, for approval or not 
a renewal or a new application. So uh, voting in Gantt uh, requires only at least at least uh, three NC members uh, with uh, plus one to approve a membership. In general, we works as with, with a consensus decision making. There is no voting. Uh, in general, is a consensus for the application. And the Garrett works as an archive for uh, past decisions of the membership committee. So, after handle many new applications and many uh, renewals, we reach the end of the quarter. So, the member on the team should prepare the meeting. Uh, first, uh, deny the rejected applications. So, uh, when a candidate uh, doesn't reach the requirements of the status, we uh, first check with the common list and after we notify uh, the rejection with the ID and finally we deny the ID. And as Gabriel told, this person uh, could reapply uh, in the future uh, after mm, do uh, some uh, contribu contributions, relevant contributions. Um, the member on the team uh, should cancel rejected membership renewals. It happens uh, sometimes. We cancel uh, membership uh, by members who doesn't reach the, the requirements. And uh, uh, another uh, uh, process let who not apply for renewal. This is important because sometimes uh, there is a situation when the member uh, haven't answered the, the renewal, but the MC knows he or she will reapply in the next quarter. Uh, for any reason, for vacation, for example, the person doesn't, didn't answer, but the MC uh, knows he or she will do uh, next quarter. So we let uh, the, the ID and uh, it's possible to decide even during the meeting of the MC if the person answers the, the email, the question. What? In chat. Right? On a chat, uh, uh, in, in a, a less formal way, yes. for example. So, um, to prepare the meeting, the member on duty should uh, prepare some lists. These lists are easy to, to prepare. Uh, with these lists, we can also get some uh, information from to, to, to build some stats for, for the members, for the board, who knows. Uh, and there is a spreadsheet to uh, automatic have, have the, date, the, the dates for these lists. It was uh, made by CORE in, in the past, a long past, <laughs> and uh, updated by me in the last uh, two terms. So at membership committee meeting, 
the merits in the PAD, the decision about corner cases, final voting in Gary, plus one, minus one, and after send minutes and lists to the TDF staff, uh, in general Florian and Sophie, for burning film. So uh, they do also a double check in the lists, it's an important work, uh, and after that, we, s we do some operational uh, uh, stuff, uh, set labs of membership to cancel. Uh, it's like to clean the, the, the status of the database. We notify the new members, this is important, and notify the members about the renewal. Succeeded. Succeeded, yes, perfect. Um, so, finally, we provide the final lists to the board and the, and the staff, to the lists and, the, and to the website. These two lists are getting from the database. So, this is the end. It's time to sign the database and start a new quarter. Uh, about useful comments, we can change the data of uh, a member with the modify comment with the ID. Uh, of course, the two, the only two uh, information we have about the member, the full name or the email. Eventually, a member asks for changing his email. Uh, we can recover for a local uh, recover local crash. This is amazing because sometimes your local database. Uh, uh, let me let me remember uh, that uh, we are using a tool based in a Git. Uh, Two. So sometimes your local database crash, and you can do a reset to recover the information from the uh, the database, the main database, uh, to your local database. And sometimes an undo is useful too to. Uh, do uh, uh, a correct comment. So nice, nice comments to use in your in the daily work of the member on the team. So my hacking, finally, uh, during our meeting in Rome, K J suggested to change the sending of reviews in the start of the quarter. Uh, let me show the old approach. We have the current date and the current date plus 45 days was a time frame where all the uh, members with the renewal date inside this time frame um, uh, was uh, had his uh, renewals sent, sent. So this works in uh, what we call waves of renewal uh, methods. But uh, it it works. It worked during a long time, but with problems because sometimes as you are working with the current date, uh, sometimes the membership committee 
uh, had a little time to, to check, to review and check the member uh, uh, answer, the, the member's answers. So, um, after study the code, uh, the work, uh, based on the KJ proposal, uh, I changed one line. I, I, I spent too much time to, <laughs> to find this line, but works. So the new approach is get the effective date of the the quarter of the, the next quarter and do a minus ninety days uh, to get the whole. Quarter. quarter. So there's some uh, issues about dates here. So because this, I'm testing the solution, but uh, it works. It it, it have uh, 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 worked for um, since um, two quarters. Yes, two quarters. And seems okay to be uh, defined as uh, the new approach of this uh, question. And another topic discussed at FOSDEN was restarting to send the renewal notification to the approved members. So um, this uh, demonstrates to the members that the process was finished, uh, demonstrate that the MC are working uh, in, on the renewals. It's not an email uh, losing in somewhere. Uh, it's, and it's a formal communication from the membership committee. So uh, it's it's easy to do, and it's already been done. And that is it. Okay, that's my daily work with the MCM script. Um, I'm happy to share with you my my uh, contribution to the project. And it's important because today, I guess, only Core and Sophie are able to do the whole process. Miklos. Miklos. Oh, uh, I think you too, but <laughs> maybe. <laughs> too lazy. Too lazy to do that. And that is it. Thank you, guys.